support of several colleagues, friends, and students of mine, particularly uh, Professor, Professor Italo Dottaviano, one of my former graduate students, and today one of my best friends. My deep thanks to all of them. I was wish to thank Professor Evandro Agassi, who is now here with us, for my election to the International Academy of the Philosophy of Science. I have been studying philosophy since I was 14 years old, at, the, at first under the guidance of my uncle, Milton Carneiro, who was professor of philosophy at the Federal University of Paraná, Brazil. My major concern has always been the nature of the human knowledge with emphasis on scientific knowledge. With that in mind, I dedicate myself, above all, to logic and to the foundation of mathematics and physics, as well to philosophy in the lab. This explains why I have worked in so many different areas. Moreover, it also explains my collaboration with so many experts in the fields, in fields like logic, mathematics, physics, economics, and philosophy. Scientific knowledge today is too wide and complex to be dealt with by a single person. That is, the investigation of the foundation of science must be an interdisciplinary task. I look around here and see friends everywhere. Here are my students, my colleagues, my co-workers, and they all share this common characteristic. Essentially, all people who are here in this auditorium are all friends of mine. And I may add, you are here to celebrate with me. All of you are my friends or all you soon become part of the group. This is what I have constructed along these years of teaching and doing research. There is a chief result, this is the chief result of my research effort. To have all, to have you all here with me today during this week. You, students, colleagues, workers, you, my friend. How did I manage, manage to seduce you into friendship? As I used to say when I began my course, I have come to disturb the peace of your paradise. I am here to throw the serpent amidst you. I am here to suggest heretical ideas to people who are too close with their orthodoxy. I have always tried to convince you that a deviant idea, an idea that looks tortuous and contrived at first sight, is sometimes more reasonable, if it may I say so, than a conventional approach. Certainly, this is the spirit at the background, at the background of the fields, of fields such as quantum mechanics and general relativity. And this is also, I hope, what lies behind my exploration in the domain of non-classical and orthodox logic because I feel that such is the spirit of science. Thank you for being here with me, dear friend. And let us together go on disturbing the peace of paradise. <laughs> <laughs> this ceremony is for me a kind of wonderful dream. dream. I would like to finish this short talk quoting the French physicist Pierre Curie, who wrote a phrase that remains in my mind since, since my childhood. Pour faire de la science, il faut faire de la vie en rêve et d'un rêve réalité. Thank you very much.